Hair loss is probably one of the most common complaints I hear in connection to thyroid disease. This is frequently the first symptom that women notice. You might hop in the shower and when you clean the drain afterward, there could be a whole handful of hair. It can be terrifying. And there have been times when I have lost so much hair that I thought, how do I even have any left on my head? That is because the thyroid is highly involved in hair production. It is involved with other hormones that make hair like estrogen is a big one. It also is involved in the digestion of, well, the the thyroid itself isn't, but the, the digestion of proteins is important for making hair as well, as well as zinc and other important minerals. So frequently when there's a thyroid issue going on, it slows down digestion. So we don't absorb the nutrients, number one, that we need to make the hair. And then number two, the hormones being off themselves send the message, evacuate, jump ship, everyone go, which results in that hair drain being full of hair or your hairbrush. You're brushing your hair and there's tons of hair in there. Now that is scary. The other place that you can lose hair that is so common with thyroid disease is on the outsides of the eyebrows. That last third of the eyebrow, uh, will usually fall out if you've got a thyroid problem. I have read tons of research on this and nobody has come to a conclusion as to why that is happening. I've read lots of different theories on it, but I see this very common, uh, commonly in the women in my programs is that they will have very thinning eyebrows just on the outside. And this is something that I struggled with my whole life. Um, I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's at eight years old and looking back, you can see that my eyebrows actually were very thin on the outside and continued to be thin the entire time I was on medication. What was really amazing to me is after I addressed the infections in my gut that were actually causing the thyroid problems and I got off of the medication, my eyebrows finally grew back in. So it was the first time in my entire life that I had the outer third of my eyebrows. That was amazing to me because I was scared and sure that once I went off of thyroid medication, I would lose all of my eyebrows and lose more hair. So the point of this story is if hair loss is happening, we've got to find out what is going on in the gut that is impacting number one, your digestion and absorption of the nutrients needed to make hair, but number two, that are impacting the thyroid function because it's a double whammy when you have sneaky little infections that are preventing absorption and preventing thyroid function. That is when the hair just bails out. There's no reason to stay here because no one's caring about me. That's what I imagine the hair saying. So let's take a look in the gut. Let's find out what's happening. We can get answers not only for the hair loss, but also for the thyroid with one simple test. And that I talk more about in my masterclass. I'll put the link for you to check it out. And let's get that hair coming on back. Let's get you feeling great and enjoying some luxurious locks.